And bitch, I'm a, I'm a motherfucker. Bitch, she thought I was finna slap the shit out of her. All I did was snatch the phone, but she, she, she seen fit. She got that glow. She made of sugar and gold. She's my melon in my row. She's my melon in my row. Fly and she knows that I am feeling her soul. She's my melon in my row. My, my melon in my row. What's the YouTube? It's your girl, Melanin Monroe. Another day, more YouTube drama. Now, as you can tell by the title of this video, this video is about your girl Tasha K and Auntie Hammy. Looks like Tasha K and Auntie Hammy got into a little altercation last night. I don't know, y'all. Let's just get into the video. Well, some of you may not know who Auntie Hammy is. Auntie Hammy is a viral internet celebrity. Um, she is most known for her song, It's a 22 Pew Pew Pew. Hold up. Wait a minute. It's a 22. Pew Pew Pew. Pew Pew Pew. She also has over 300,000 followers on Instagram and close to 100k followers on Facebook and numerous viral videos. She is a pretty well-known internet sensation. So she went to Tasha K to have her very first interview and it seems as if Tasha K asked her a question that she did not want to answer and things went left. Take a look. Y'all, I'm 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 in a bad situation right now. Like, no, you, all I know is you is not finna make me look stupid, Tasha K. What the fuck are you You're talking not about? finna ask me them dumb ass fucking questions, bro. You're dumb. not finna play me like but that. But I came. Don't ask me them dumb ass questions. All I did was. Bro, come. I don't even want to hear that. This bro. You're is not too finna much. Make me look fucking stupid. I'm not doing You're this. You're not finna make me look fucking stupid. Why you take that shit off? You can take that shit You can get the fuck out. You can get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. You and your white man. I'll be the fuck on your bitch ass. So following that altercation, Auntie Hammy posted on her Instagram page and here's what she had to say. She said, Tasha K want to press charges when all I did was snatch her phone from trying to de defame my character. She lied to the police talking about I hit her soft ass. Tasha K scary ass called the police on me. If I go to jail, please buy me out. Somebody tell Tasha K I ain't in jail because she got me blocked. I got court date for public intox, dumb hoe, gang gang. She said, I bet they let me go. I'm coughing nonstop. Police officer think he got COVID. She said, I told this hoe don't ask incriminating questions. She waited to the end to try me. I spazzed on her. Projects in this B, call the police hoe because that's who you're working for in the first place. Officers say they have to arrest me due to the evidence she provided, so I'm going to jail. But my sugar daddy bonding me out. If I knew I was really going to jail, I would have really drug her. I'm going to jail off a scratch on a B wrist. So then Tasha K took to Twitter and said, And you effed up my wrist, snatching my phone. I'm suing your broke butt. Hashtag Auntie Hammy, hashtag unwind with Tasha K. Hashtag now I gotta go. Bye. I'm gonna travel long and far, right? We done had this classless asshole booked for months, okay? She has never done an interview or nothing. And so we almost done with the interview. Yeah, she pulled my, she tried to pull my hair, but I called the police and her ass is locked up. So y'all need to go and send us some damn bail money because she gonna need it. I asked her a question because y'all don't know if you know she was married to this, this white man named Lewis. And some girl named Sharon, Sharonda or whatever did a video saying, what's wrong with my hair? <laughs> right, who's fighting? That's what's wrong with my hair. Shit. So, Auntie Hammy. That's what I'm talking about, Auntie Hammy, the pew 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 lady. She ain't never did no interview. So, asking her a question, the interview going good, right? And then, so, you know, I gotta switch it up a little bit. We can't just talk about all positive shit. We the winos, okay? <laughs> we the winos. And I said, well, your, your ex husband uh, basically said he woke up with blood all over his face and he don't know how it got there. And she was like, I don't want to talk about that. 
I said, but he actually came forward and said that like you beat him up. So yes, it was real, y'all. It was real. And I was trying to keep a smile because like we had got up from doing the interview and she just went ballistic. I was just like, are you at first I'm thinking because like she a viral sensation. So I'm thinking like this shit can't be real. So that's why you see me smiling. Because I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, yo, like all I did was ask you about, did you put your hands on that, that man? Because I pulled her police record and she got some serious like motherfucking shit. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just like, okay, so this is probably possible. You know, I do my motherfucking research. So like she mad, she don't want the interview to come the fuck out. She don't want the interview to come out. I said, fuck that, it's coming out. She actually tried to take the fucking tape. She tried to take my husband's camera. I said, oh no. So I actually had hotel security escort her out and I called the police and her and her wig is in motherfucking jail right now. So sick of this motherfucking bullshit in this world, man. Get me up out of this fucking planet, bro. I just wanna motherfucking go to Mars. And then, this bitch thinks she's so slick, y'all, right? I already told y'all how these blogs is. This whole time of some, oh, she was. Interview was amazing, okay? Interview was amazing. Amazing interview. This whole let me t just speak my piece, you know what I'm saying? This whole thing, she's slick, bro. Then she want to ask me some old puss ass incriminating ass shit. Come on, bro. I ain't finna ask, answer them kind of questions. And she like, oh, well, you know, it is just one little part that I forgot to ask about. You know, just sit right here and we'll patch it in. You ain't finna patch in a fuck thing, ho. I ain't answering the motherfucking question, puss ass ho. Period. So here she go, oh. She done put the little camera up. I got my camera up. Like, okay, what you want to do? She talking about, oh, guys, we have a problem. And whatever the fuck she, I grabbed that phone and said, bitch, she's a pussy ass hoe. I don't even know what the fuck I said because I was drunk. I ain't going to lie, bitch, y'all. I'm fucked up right now. You know what I'm saying? I've been drinking. I've been drinking and shit. I shit, fuck it. Same time, I'm crying. You know what I'm saying? I tried to add hard on my page because I felt like this whole getting off on me, this whole don't went all live and shit. Talking about, yeah, she going to jail. Bitch, puss ass hoe, no the fuck I ain't going to jail. Ho, watch this. Yo, picky head, cock a doo -do, do ass with your motherfucking uh, uh, Elvis motherfucking Johnny Bravo ass uh, uh, hairstyle. Okay. I'm not going to jail behind Johnny Bravo. I'm not. Nope. I'd be down that that be on my motherfucking face. And I ain't motherfucking, I ain't motherfucking did some shit. For real, bruh. Just like I got out of with my husband. He went and told all them hoes that, oh, I beat him. And he went to the blog. Hey, this hoe is a, is a ragged ass blog. It wouldn't need, it wouldn't need no motherfucking blog. He went to them hoes, oh yeah, she's going to jail. I ain't never go to jail, bitch. I'm going to beat them cases, man. Ain't nobody getting light behind motherfucking, you know what I'm saying, roughing a bitch up. That's all that was, was roughing a bitch up. I ain't motherfucking put no motherfucking, I ain't nobody got no black eye, nothing, no blood or nothing. Like, ain't nobody going to jail behind that. Shit, she swore up and down. She want to act like she in a damsel in distress. Her, her, her wrist hurt. How your wrist hurt and you steady motherfucking typing on the internet? I said, sir, look, she just reposted some stuff right here. How her wrist hurt, sir? She lying. This a goddamn lie, sir. How the fuck your wrist hurt? And your, your thirst ass posting shit. Caught your motherfucking red handed bitch. You just trying to motherfucking get off with your little ratings. You feel like you done got you some little little gossip because you, you got me out the chain a little bit. But you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I, 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 I'm I usually very calm. But, you know, the past few days, people been trying me. Zoe, 
you know, Tokyo. So I'm a, I've am been a, under a lot of pressure, you know, so it was hard to maneuver when she had to ask me all the incriminating ass questions. I say, bitches, you working for the police. You know, talking about well, it's already on the internet, and yeah, I don't give a damn what's on the internet. Do you know people is going to jail behind interviews? I refuse. I motherfucker refuse, bitch. Shit, real rat now, like the COVID. Oh, she want to keep pressing the issue. Well, bitch, listen here. I ain't asking a fuck thing. You ask me one more motherfucking thing, I'm gonna slap the shit out you. Oh, then she want to grab her phone like her phone going to save her from getting slapped the fuck down. That phone ain't going to save you, bitch. Um, That phone ain't going to save you, bitch. I'm going to put my phone out, too. And, bitch, I'm a a motherfucker. Bitch, she thought I was going to slap the shit out of her. All I did was snatch the phone, but she she, she seen fear. That what the fuck she seen, bitch. You thought I was finna slap the shit out you like I told you I was. But I wasn't finna say no shit like that on no motherfucking... Why you got me on the motherfucking... Hey. She was trying to record me, say I was gonna slap the shit out of... What'd you say? What you gonna do? Uh, uh, guys, we have a problem. Yeah, it's a motherfucking problem. I'm gonna slap the shit out your ass. It's ask me that question again, bitch. I don't know, guys. Comment down below how you feel about all this. I feel like if... Auntie Hammy asked Tasha K not to ask her those type of questions, then she shouldn't ask her those type of questions. Whether she's the winos or not, if somebody says they don't want to talk about something, they're not obligated to talk about it just because you're Tasha K. As far as Auntie Hammy going ham on Tasha K, I mean, she probably could have went about it a different way. But Tasha K can't just think that everybody is going to be cool, calm, and collective because number one, she's Tasha K, and number two, it's a professional setting you know what i mean like people react to things differently i'm not saying the way she reacted was proper or appropriate but it is what it is you know what i'm saying she said i don't want to talk about it and then you continue to ask her in different ways the same question i understand with interviews you're supposed to poke and get the in the information that the viewers are looking for but if somebody says they don't want to talk about it they don't want to talk about it I don't know, guys. Comment down below how you feel about this. But make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications so you can be notified every single time that I upload. Until next time, beautiful people. Peace.